Hello and welcome to I'm Every Woman TV. Today we have a very special broadcast and our first guest is Paul Litwack who will be in to talk to you about how to nix negativity in your life and make 2013 your best year yet. It's going to be great and Paul has a wonderful giveaway. We'll talk more about that later and his book. And then we're going to have uh, an behind the scenes pass with me to a very special event that we attended back in November when Paula Abdul was in town. Now many of you might know Paula Abdul as former Laker girl, former American Idol judge, um, and former X Factor judge. She's also a six time Grammy uh, winner. So I'm going to have a special segment with her and she is my inspiration for today and yours too because I really believe that this is a woman who can teach you how to be authentic when following your dreams. So we'll check out the footage on the in, uh, backstage pass that I will share with you coming up later in the show. And then we've got Noreen Gillitson. Noreen Gillitz is, her company is Gourmania. Gourmania. She's a certified professional chef and food writer. And she's going to talk to us about two things. Her connection to Paula Abdul and her uh, amazing career as a chef and cookbook writer. She's going to teach us how to have healthy gourmet meals that the entire family will love. And that's especially great if you love food as much as I do. Anyway, stay with us because we're going right into our first segment now with Paul Litwack, the Capability Improvement Coach. Welcome, Paul. Hi, Jeanette. Hi. How are you today? Well, good to be back. Well, Paul, I think I just wanted to mention to everyone, first and foremost, before I start into your questions, that you are a master uh, NLP practitioner. Actually, a trainer and coach, uh, board certified. Board certified, Correct. and you also are a, hip, a hypnotherapy trained as well, right? Uh, I actually have an institute of hypnotherapy, that's correct. Right, so that's pretty good. And you also have a book that you co-authored called Ready, Aim, Soar. Mm. And that just came out a little while ago, right? Uh, just a little while ago, and uh, it was uh, forwarded by Dr. Joe Vitale. Right, Joe Vitale was from The Secret. That's right. So um, that's pretty impressive. Um, now, well, you're going to talk to us a little bit about a defined process that you've created called Coach Paul's Five-Step Tuned Formula. Mm -hmm. And this is really important, ladies, because uh, it teaches us how to nix negativity in our life. And for many of us gals, we tend to sabotage ourselves in, in a lot of the things that we do. And my first question to you is, why is it that women appear to be more affected um, and exposed to negativity than men? Um, the studies show that women um, are surrounded by it because of drama in their life. They tend to be attracted to a lot of drama and gossip in their life. So can you elaborate on that and, and sort of explain why women tend to fall more into negative patterns than men? Uh, it, it's actually a really interesting thing, Jeanette, because when you think about it, it's not so much women or men as much as it is just the human context. And negativity does abound, uh, but some people are more impacted by it than others are. So the question is, who is most impacted by negativity? And yes, the program is called Nick's Negativity Now, and it's specifically what you must and can do about negativity wherever you find it. Uh, the key being where you find it. And what you described a moment ago was people find negativity, have trouble dealing with negativity. People who find how to get past the negativity don't have to deal with the negativity. So as an example of that, everything that we'll talk about today will be about how to focus on things that you can do, things that are possible, things that we are 100% capable of doing and don't rely on others, and things that will create a more compelling future. So let's just get right into it. I know you have a diagram and we're going to pull it up and it's, it's ways you have tools to nix negativity in our lives so that, you know, we are a women's show, so I'm going to focus on it, what women do to sabotage Absolutely. Their, themselves. And nixing negativity now. Nix now, because yes. we want 2013 to, to be the year, and we want to be playing bigger games. Right. We also want to be more accepting of ourselves and 
uh, accepting of what we can have happen rather than accepting maybe less right. of what can happen what can happen when we hold ourselves back so um, in your process specifically what are some of the things that you do that prevent women and I guess men but in this case women uh, from sabotaging themselves that is actually probably the most important thing that people do is to sabotage themselves and I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, in, in the back of our neck, at the bottom of the brain stem, there's an area called the amygdala. That's what creates our fight or flight syndrome. Uh, that's where people have the <gasps> uh, reaction to things that happen. And what I do in my coaching, and my results are guaranteed in writing, uh, is helping and empowering people, those ready, to be able to look at those circumstances and say to themselves, this doesn't need to cause the fears, the phobias, the anxieties, the stress, the things that commonly happen for those that don't deal with this, and just change that into, thank you for the awareness. Now I know what I need to do, and just to move on. And that makes life a lot easier to do on a regular basis, because really it comes down to one simple thing. You can either be healthy, wealthy, and happy, or you can be right. More people who have the stress are trying to prove that they're right rather than being happy, healthy, and wealthy. And everything that I do supports the first, being happy, healthy, and wealthy. And I guess to some extent, if you are right and you're acknowledged as being right, then that can also make you happy, wealthy, and uh, healthy, right? That depends what right is. Or how important it is to you and in what circumstance. Ah, so now you're talking about creating a reality. Ah. So uh, I, I believe you have a diagram, which I'm, I'm asking that we pull up. Here's your book cover. I'm looking for the diagram. Thank you. And the diagram talks about 95% and 5%. Correct. So can you explain that and explain it in the context of what you are actually doing for your clients? Because I understand that when you work with clients, you're teaching them how to nix negativity and see progressive results in various areas of their life, whether they want to make an adjustment in, the, in their health, mm -hmm. um, in their livelihood, mm -hmm. in uh, their weight. Mm -hmm. So the program works in a number of different ways. And right. I, Anything I would like you to, can put your mind to. And even to reduce stress and addictions and For what sure. have you. For sure, yes. So again, if we flash that diagram, uh, you can explain it to us, how, how it actually works as a tool, and give us something that, you know, we can take away with today to Absolutely. apply immediately in our lives to nix that negative negativity. And thank you for that cue, because this is the important part. It's always now, because you see, they're really, if you look at it, you can decide on a future, you can decide on a past, or you can decide on a now. My entire focus is focusing on now, so that you can create your next now, and your next now. So let's talk about the 95.5. And this is a rule, right? Uh, there are a couple of rules to it, and it is the model that works. And when you follow the model, it works 100% of the time. Let me repeat that, 100% of the time. When does it work? When you use it. Okay, so, so 95 five. It. 15 years of research focusing on leaders, individuals, corporate leaders, many different scenarios, deciding on how it is that they make decisions, because that's really what it's all about. What do we decide is, and you focused a moment ago on reality, Einstein said it best, reality is a construct, and that's why two people can go away on a vacation and come back, and both of them are telling you about their vacation together, and you look at one, and you look at the other, and you say, were you in the same place at the same time? How is that possible? Their experiences were different because of the reality that they created. So let's use the 95.5. Here's what it comes down to. Uh, is the chart up on the screen? We'll show it again. On the left the chart, side, of the not the book. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, okay. There, there it is. Go. On the left side of the screen, 95% of the time, people focus on what's not. People focus on what isn't. People focus on what can't be. People focus on, well, I put a sad face there because that describes what it is. On the other side of the screen, about 5% of the time, what I found was that people focus on the enlightenment, the love, the joy. The, uh, the beauty, the greatness, the passion, the great things that can happen. But you'll notice that on that picture, while 95% may look like this, and 5% may focus on this, I showed them as equal. In other words, your choice at any time is equally 95 or 5. So there are two rules to this game. First one, whichever side you choose, guaranteed, you will get the results from what comes from that side. You choose the 95% side, you'll get the sad face. You choose the 5% side, you'll get the happy face. 
So whatever side you choose, you will get the results from that side, guaranteed 100% of the time. Which is why it's startling is you ask people, well, if you didn't get what you wanted, but you know that what you did would provide what you got, why are you complaining? You got what comes from what you did. And that's why my results are guaranteed, because my working and empowering others is to only focus on what works. And it does. Okay, well, when you say you get the results that you create, basically, is that not also kind of blaming somebody? Like, you know, is it a blame game or is it a, a matter of accountability? Au contraire, if anything, it's taking responsibility for yourself and what you do and who you are. Okay. Uh, because, you know, the old story, when you point a finger at somebody else, You're three pointing. fingers are pointing back at us, aren't they? Yes. So the question now becomes, well, why do people always identify everybody else? on why things aren't right. <laughs> What's that famous expression? If it weren't for everybody else, <laughs> we'd be fine. Well, you know what? We have to work with everybody else. We live in a real world. So the real question is, are we attracting the people and the resources that we need to have in our lives and in our work to make that reality the way we want it to be? And if we are attracting those things, then we're having a better life. If we're not attracting those things, then rather than identifying what's not working, just focus on what does work and start to believe that when you attract it, it will come. Okay, so some are, tell me some ways of how to attract it. Or what I guess the question should really be, how can we change our thought patterns, beliefs, and actions? That's exactly it. So that we're not really stuck in the negative so much. That's right. But in the positive. So how do we, I, I gather the question should be, how do we attract what we say we want in our lives. Absolutely, and thank so you for bringing whether that up. that's a relationship, a mm -hmm. man or a woman, well, in this case where it's a woman's show, so. Or money, that's uh, a relationship. Could be money, yeah. a relationship with money. Yeah, uh, it getting be... it, keeping it. Exactly, yep. so how do we attract it? Absolutely. Uh, you know that I've recently set up a, uh, a community called Get Unstuck Now. And uh, for those of us who are watching live and for those that are watching it recorded later, uh, I set up something for you if you'd like. Please do uh, go to bit.ly slash get unstuck now uh, and put your comments into the first question, which is what do you most need to do to get unstuck into Nick's negativity now? And I ask, please, that it be positive be future-oriented, and not rely on anything outside of ourselves. Going back to your earlier comment a moment ago. So let's go back to the 95.5 just for a moment. Give me a scenario, and I'll show you how the 95.5 works. Okay. Can we work in these? Oh, sure. Okay. I like them. Jeanette likes this. Okay. Uh, for those that, are wa those that are watching, these are horseshoes with a ring on them. So, Jeanette, if you would, take the ring off the horseshoes to show how easy it okay, is to do. Okay, okay. Now, I know you showed me how to do this once before, and I never did get it right. Now, you notice what you said was you never did get it right. Oh, so I'm, I'm stuck in the negative today, eh, Well, Paul? this is what people do who are not getting results. So if we were to change that to, I but need to know how to do it. self-sabotage? Because I actually, I, I realize in saying that, that I'm showing a lack of... I guess, confidence in my own ability of putting myself down, not blaming others. You're correct. And, and therefore, who's stopping you from succeeding? I'm stopping me be, because and I'm, that's, not, that's I'm not natural. getting this right. And before you know it, I'm going to get frustrated. So you know what? I'm just going to put it back to you in the interest of time. So what I we have is we works. have two horseshoes, and you wanted to know if the ring comes off. Yeah. Okay? So as you can see, the ring yeah. does not come off. Right? So my question to you now becomes... You said before that you were having difficulties doing something, and by the way, the ring is stuck on the horseshoes. Okay, so we were talking, though, about attracting what we want in Correct. our life. And how do you use that to attract what you want in your life? Okay, let me ask or you a question. Or improve our relationship. When I handed these to you, and you had seen them before, and you had worked with them before, and you had succeeded at getting the ring off before. Yes. In fact, you and I have done this a couple of times, and you've done it many times before. But the only time that mattered was right now. Yeah, because the world is watching. <laughs> and of course, I couldn't get it off. Couldn't get it off or didn't get it off. There's a difference. Couldn't was a choice. I it was a decision. I didn't get it off. Exactly. And therefore, when one wants to attract more of the things they want in their lives. I mean, some of my clients I work with, you're right, they want to lose weight. They've done absolutely everything they can. It's a yo-yo up and down, nothing seems to work, and they're back to where they were before. And my suggestion is, working with me, the results are guaranteed, not only will they get to their desired weight, they will maintain that and a fitness and a wellness level that works for them. 
Did you notice I said nothing about losing weight? Because losing means something bad's happening. You have to take away to make it loose. I said they will achieve their desired weight and keep it that way. I have people who have phobias and fears uh, of giving a presentation, of flying, of dentists, of spiders, and in less than one hour, gone forever, permanently, because of what you described earlier, and that's rewiring the brain. And we haven't discussed it in so much detail now, but let me just say, it's all about the unconscious, not the conscious. Because, right, the, conscious, because... the conscious prevents us from doing what we need. The unconscious is just waiting for its cue. So the conscious says, here's my goal, here's what I want. The unconscious says, got it, let me go get it for you. And when the conscious and the unconscious work well together, great things happen, people achieve, they live more fulfilled lives, they make the world a better place, and they attract the things that they want to have more of. When they stop themselves, and that's the Get Unstuck Now community, when they stop themselves, all that they need to do is to be aware that they are aware, because more often people don't know what they don't know. Okay, Paul, we're running out of time, so I've got to wrap this up. So I want to mention a couple things. The yes. first is your website. Correct. Which is www.thecoach. The hyphen coach. The hyphen coach. Or better yet, go to the Get Unstuck Now community. Once again, that's bit.ly, B I T dot L Y slash Get Unstuck Now. I also wanted to mention that you have a very good giveaway today. And it is worth $500 to the first person who emails me in at Jeanette, J-A-N-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, at yourmarketingmagnet.com. We'll claim this prize. Now, I want to uh, say it correctly. It is a one-hour complimentary Coach uh, Paul breakthrough process in which you will review their history. Is that correct? I want to qualify that. Okay. It could take as much as two to three hours. Oh, it I'm could. really investing okay. in that person. Okay. And the promise that I make in that in all of my work and my empowerment, we don't ever, ever, ever relive the past. So anybody who's ever asked you to relive your past, way off base. Because that's the past, it's gone, it's over, and it's been registered in your unconscious. What we do instead is we focus on what is it that you don't know that you don't know? so that we can address that and start attracting what you do need to know. We wipe out all past negative unwarranted emotions. We get rid of all limiting beliefs and limiting decisions. So it's the same you that you were before, only better because nothing is holding you back from what you want anymore. Great. Doesn't that sound great? It does, and I, I'm impressed with this. We didn't really get to it, but I assume this is a, like a pendulum that, that is a pendulum. works in your hypnotic... Uh, hypnotherapy type mm -hmm. of thing. It's quite pretty. Um, I also wanted to make mention of the fact that I ran a contest for I'm Every Woman TV for someone to win a spot. You were the contest winner. Oh, thank you. And um, we had that contest between Christmas and New Year's. It was sort of a 12 days of Christmas thing to, to have um, our viewership watched and you won fair and square. So uh, it's been a pleasure having you here again today. And I wanted to re-mention your book, Ready, Aim, Soar. Where can we get this book? The book is on Amazon. It is a number one Amazon top seller now. Uh, and uh, I also will make an offer to all of your viewers. When they go to that webpage, bit.ly slash get unstuck now, put in their comment there, and I'll tell them how they can get one as my gift. Oh, that's an extra gift on top of the other gift for $500. That's pretty good. And for those watching the recording as this is going to be archived as well, I'll do that for them too. Great. So uh, thank you for being with us today. And um, ladies, I think I encourage you to uh, get unstuck now and, and have a, a session with Paul. Um, read the book. I work with him. He's helped me to get unstuck and see things in a different light. Um, more on the 95 versus the 5. And um, I'm continuing on to improve, so I really recommend him. And we will be right back after this short break with the inside pass to the Paula Abdul, my Jewish soul event that was here in Toronto back in November, sponsored by Soul Power the Family Shul and Chabad Toronto. Stay with us. <laughs>